your first question related, it was a long, long question. I have to remember. How can you ensure that Sinwar is not going to abuse the time? I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will. I, of course he'll try. He'll try all sorts of tricks. And there's other things that we think. We are going to do what we said we're going to do. We are committed to continue the fighting. I'm not just saying it. I just spoke to the President of the United States. He's a great friend. And I told him, Joe, we are fighting. We are having a truce and an agreement that he was a privy to. He was a partner. But we're going to continue. This is a real commitment. It's not just saying it, writing it on paper. This is like uh, carved in our hearts. We are committed to eliminate the Hamas. We are committed to create a different reality in Gaza. It shouldn't become a threat. We are committed to bring all the hostages back, and that, of course, compels us to continue to fight. The great danger, I say, to uh, see to our existence, and the end of the day is comes from the axis of terror and evil of Iran. Iran, the danger is that they'll have nuclear weapons that will uh, threaten us in completely different scope than it does today. And in order to stop that, I did many things. Some of them have to do with the Shalit deal, and one day I'll be able to elaborate. But one thing I'm sure of. When you release these people, you take a risk. The risk, we're not talking of murderers, you're right, you're talking about bad people, evil people, young people, women who are evil. And we will do everything possible in order to ensure, as far as we can, that they will not harm people. And that's the price we're paying in order to bring back, we hope, if it doesn't go wrong, the deal dozens of children with their mothers and women as a first phase in this outline. And I sincerely hope that there'll be more than 50, but I cannot commit to that. 